Hello, my name is Katie Goodman, and I'm the director of the Career Center here at TCC, and this is Smart Professional Networking. So what is networking? It is the practice of establishing and fostering relationships for both personal and professional growth. It is a great way of standing out from the crowd. So why network? Did you know almost 80% of jobs are landed through networking, not through job search websites like Indeed and CareerBuilder? So essentially, networking is a way for you to land that job. Now let's watch a quick video on informational interviewing. Hi, Issa Adney here, host of The Skinny on TCC22 and author of the book Community College Success with tips on how to be successful in college and in life. What percentage of jobs do you think are posted online? Can you believe it's less than 30%? Where are the other 70% of jobs not posted on online job boards? They are being filled through personal connections. This is why networking is such a big deal. And the best way to start networking is to start meeting the right people before you need a job. Diet networking doesn't work. It has to be a lifestyle. To start, ask people at companies that interest you for a 10 minute informational interview. Ask their advice, write it down, and follow up. This is the best way to build relationships that may lead to a great job. Do an informational interview at least once per month and you'll find your network will grow and you will be one of the few to uncover the hidden job market. What is an informational interview? It is an informal conversation with someone working in your intended career field who can help provide you with information and advice. It helps you choose or refine a career path, and it is a great way to get an insider's point of view. So what are the steps for an informational interview? Step one, find someone to interview. This can be family or friends, advisors, faculty or staff, or LinkedIn connections, anybody who is in your intended career field. We'll talk about LinkedIn in just a minute. Step two, Prepare for your interview, research the occupation, and prepare several thoughtful questions that you can ask them. Step three, connect with the professionals. Ask them for 20 to 30 minutes of their time and use the interview questions that you have prepared. And step four, follow up and reflect. Ask for their business card and be sure to send a thank you note. Reflect and write notes on what you have learned from the interview and be sure to add this to your resume. At a networking event, first impressions do matter, so be sure to dress to impress. Now let's watch a video on proper professional dress. Business formal is the appropriate attire for job interviews and career fairs. Check the invitation or ask the point of contact to see if it's required for networking events, job shadowing, award ceremonies, or informational interviews. The foundation of business formal is a solid two-piece suit in navy, gray, or black. You can pair the jacket with either matching pants or a knee-length pencil skirt. A solid white or light blue dress shirt is a wardrobe staple that will always look professional. Finish the look with a pair of low-heeled shoes in neutral or corresponding colors. This is business formal. Business casual is the right attire for casual workplaces, academic lectures, on-campus jobs, and career workshops. Check the invitation or ask the point of contact to see if it's appropriate for networking events, job shadowing, award ceremonies, or informational interviews. Business casual is a slightly more relaxed look while still maintaining that professional appearance. Start your look with a pair of pants or a knee-length skirt in a neutral color such as black, tan, or gray. Denim may also be acceptable as long as it's dark wash, pressed, and well fit. Remember to always check first to see if jeans are acceptable. Next, 
add a blouse, turtleneck, sweater, or button down. You can finish your outfit with flats, loafers, or kitten heels. This is business casual. Things to avoid. Flip-flops, sneakers, and sandals. Ripped or baggy jeans. Textured, patterned, or bright colored hosiery. Revealing tops, short skirts, or any form-fitting clothing. Strong perfume, visible tattoos and piercings, distracting jewelry, and any exposed technology. Business Formal is the appropriate attire for job interviews and career fairs. Check the invitation or ask the point of contact to see if it's required for networking events, job shadowing, award ceremonies, or informational interviews. The foundation of Business Formal is a solid two-piece suit in navy, charcoal, or black. A solid white or light blue dress shirt is a wardrobe staple that will always look professional. Pair your shirt with a solid or conservative pattern tie. Finish the look with a pair of polished oxfords in black or brown and a matching belt. This is Business Formal. Business Casual is the right attire for casual workplaces, academic lectures, on-campus jobs, and career workshops. Check the invitation or ask the point of contact to see if it's appropriate for networking events, job shadowing, award ceremonies, or informational interviews. Business Casual is a slightly more relaxed look while still maintaining that professional appearance. Instead of a suit jacket, you can opt for a blazer, sport coat, or a solid sweater. Feel free to upgrade the basic dress shirt to one with a lightly stylized pattern. Trade in the suit pants for a smart pair of chinos in a conservative color such as khaki or gray. Denim may also be acceptable so long as it's a dark wash, pressed, and well fit. Remember to always check first to see if jeans are acceptable. But if you're going with denim, we suggest sticking with a blazer or sport coat to keep your look professional. You can add loafers or suede bucks to your shoe options, but remember to still pair them with a matching belt. This is business casual. Things to avoid. Flip-flops, sneakers, and sandals. Ripped or baggy jeans. T-shirts of any kind messy hair, and an unshaven face. Strong cologne, visible tattoos and piercings, distracting jewelry, and any exposed technology. You've just seen how to dress for a networking event. Let's talk about first impressions. Smile, it is contagious. Make eye contact and listen. Have a firm but not aggressive handshake. Remember alcohol and moderation. However, it is recommended if you're trying to make a good first impression, avoid alcohol altogether. Close the conversation with a kind remark. This will make a lasting impression. Follow up with a letter or phone call. And remember that networking is a learned skill. So the more you practice, the easier it becomes. How to engage in conversation. Networking can be intimidating, but practice will improve your confidence. Listen and avoid distractions. Be honest, friendly, genuine, and relax. Don't let silence freak you out and ask feel-good questions. So what are feel-good questions? These are open-ended questions that will keep the conversation flowing. You can see examples on this slide. Remember, professional networking is about listening and learning. 80% should be listening, another 10% talking about yourself. Let them know who you are and what you are looking for, and 10% asking questions. Listening shows that you genuinely care and are interested in what they are saying. And remember, do not interrupt. So where are good places to network? 
Begin with your Campus Career Center. There are many clubs and organizations that you can join. Professional associations in your major, your local chamber of commerce, nonprofit groups, internships and job shadowing, and LinkedIn. Let's talk about LinkedIn. What is LinkedIn? It is a virtual professional networking site. It is the world's largest professional network with over 400 million users. And why use LinkedIn? It is a great way to showcase your brand to employers, search for national jobs and internships, get connected, join industry groups, and get professional references and recommendations for future job opportunities. Let's watch this video on LinkedIn. If you're watching this, chances are good you want to get a job. You want to go from student to rising star, and you want to avoid eating the same meal over and over and over again. Good news, you're in the right place. That's right, LinkedIn. It's not just for top executives. It's not just for old people with heavy briefcases. It's for you, and it's the perfect place for you to start your professional story. Say you want to get a job in New York City. You've never been there before, but that's okay because you have LinkedIn on your side. You start by creating your profile. You give it love because you know it's what recruiters are looking for day and night. It's your resume that never sleeps. It's your flashing neon sign that says, hire me, hire me, for the love of all that is good in this world, hire me. Then you start making connections. Alumni working in New York? Yes. Recruiters at top companies in New York? Yes. Your mom's best friend? Yes. You start imagining whose shoes you want to walk in. You think, wow, this is a lot of deep stuff to consider. You shake yourself out of it and start searching for jobs. Whoa, that's a lot of jobs for students. Time to get down to business. You start to tailor your profile. You start applying. You feel empowered, in control, like you should be CEO. That gives you an idea. You look up all the CEOs of all the companies you want to work at. You see one of them went to your university. Then it hits you. You see a clear path from campus to career. You feel like you can see the future. You wonder if you're psychic. Should you start a hotline? No, no, back to plan A. You keep tailoring and connecting and applying, and before you know it, you start getting responses. First a few, then more, then an interview, and then you're hired. And that's when the real learning begins. So let's talk about your LinkedIn profile. Here is a recommended checklist. Be sure to have a professional headshot picture. Also, you need to be creative with your professional headline and summary. Add your employment history, your education, skills and expertise, awards, your e-portfolio, your contact information, and anything that will allow you to stand out to the employers. You can view the sample student LinkedIn profile below on a NIDA job. Your headline. Your professional headline should be creative and engaging. Here are some examples. Your summary. Be sure to tailor it to your situation and have your audience in mind. Also, continue to update it as you go throughout your academic career. TCC internships and the Eagle Shadow Program are a great way to network. If you're interested in an internship or a one-day job shadowing experience, be sure to contact us at the Career Center. So let's review networking in a nutshell. Have a clear goal in mind. Know who you are and what you are looking for. Participate in several informational interviews. Do some research and prepare your feel-good questions in advance. Make a great first impression. Find opportunities to build ongoing professional relationships. Begin practicing in your comfort zone and then move beyond. Remember to listen carefully and avoid distractions. Follow up by phone or a thank you card. And start building your LinkedIn profile and making connections now.